So, today is uh, today is 24 January 2022. This is about the uh, Sanyo MR FF2 separate and the Sanyo MR FF7 that I've recently repaired. These are my pictures from the entire month. So let me just start because they kind of break up. Hard to explain. So there is a sugar, um, what is it? Stereo Fashionable. That's the F SF7. Stereo Fashionable 7. And it's an auto reverse model and it's red and it looks like that and it's got a 5 in the back. I don't know why. And then there's a, a black one and that's SF7 and the handle is anyway yeah the, uh, the handle is broke inside it's, you know nothing wrong it's just for the radio it's just it's just cleaning it and then here okay so here is the yesterday I uploaded a video from the 18th that I rebuilt or tried to repair this and then it took me from the 18th until Sunday today is Monday to repair this thing so I just want to show you the pictures that I took of it here is you know it's 12 volts that's what it shows in the back there is a speaker it's um, maximum input is 10 watts actually 5 but I'll show that in a moment or when I get to it these are just pictures of the inside where the wires go inside the back there the bottom where that screw goes I didn't need to take the doors off, but I did. I cleaned them, so got all the dust and spring the door, and yep. And then clean the recording bar switch. It's there. It is right down there in the in there down underneath. Here are the okay. This belt right here, this square belt. This one right here. This is the one that was loose. Okay, all right, and it has two of them. It's got one right over there. That that one right there. That belt is loose. That's operates your fast forward and rewind. Okay. And this is the back of another. I can't remember. So there's that. Here's the another sugar model double cassette. There it is again. It's I didn't bring one out, but I repaired. Anyway, and then this is the door actuator for my truck. I got in there. I had to repair that. Again, here's another sugar uh, SWU9, I guess. All right, that I repaired. That, 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 that. Yeah, S yeah. This is the ultra high frequency model. Okay, so and I repaired it and just take pictures of everything as you do it. So. This is easy to repair. I like this. I like these Toshiba's because they have two motors: one motor for the take up and rewind, gear driven, and then the one belt for everything else, auto reverse. So it's a very nice playing model. Now this we're going back to. This is the Sanyo MR FF7. Okay, this is the Dex to it. Okay, so you can see the red part right there. All right. I just took these pictures as I tried to uh, rebelt this. Now, this is very important. <clears throat> this has a flat belt that goes on the bottom. There's some brushes to keep the belts clean. Okay? And this is a flat uh, edged flywheel. It does not have a track for the flat belt to ride in. Okay? <clears throat> and you have to install the flat belt first and then you install this square belt on top. So the whole idea is to get that flat belt on first. Okay? And I had a devil of a time trying to get... Okay, here is the underside. Here is the flat belt area. See, that's flat. There's no track on there. Right? And then that belt goes underneath, which is driven... This is a two-belt motor-driven thing. So this first belt underneath drives the flywheel and then the flywheel drives uh, this white gear which then drives that gear and I, 
that's the uh, auto stop mechanism I think but this here is the rewind fast forward and rewind this goes back and forth like a pendulum and when it's in its resting place that's the fast forward side but if it's if the belt is loose then it won't operate in fast forward but it, when it swings over to operate in fast forward I mean rewind it swings over and therefore it'll work that's what I showed in my previous video where this model here the FF7 would not fast forward it would rewind but not fast forward so anyway that's that and that's the underside of that so now this is the um, that is the fast forward and rewind belt I put a 70 okay, it met, this is the old belt measuring 80 uh, 80 millimeters I put one in about 70 millimeters okay and then this is the underside belt that's driven off the the flywheel that drives the whatever cog it is and it was measuring uh, about 63 and I put in one about 55 or something like that and then here okay so here's my solution I ended up taping the belt the flat belt to the flywheel so it was stay in place so I could put it up in there because it's just a devil of a thing but that's my solution to put the put tape that kind of tape around there and then that held the flat belt in place so then I could put the uh, anyway so I could put it in place anyway so that was this just overview of the whole everything trying to get the flywheel to go up in here and then you have to put the flat belt on first and then the square belt um, it's just so much fun here it is in place before I this is there's a, a little washer held that holds the cap stand in place and anyway that's what I had to do and then you you, know, you push pull this whole thing down and get it over the motor and then you have to put the other square belt in on top of that and it goes right in the upper channel here so just so much fun and then you have to try and screw it all together without the belts popping off so that's just so much fun again here's another view of you know before it goes on the uh, just trying to stress the importance of this because this is so fun to do because this is the only track this uh, little um, v-shaped thing here this pulley helps keep the flat belt in its place okay there is no track on this flat flywheel okay so there's anyway then so sorry I'm harping so much but I spent five days trying to get this built in here and figure out how to do it and there's well I don't know what that's a view of but or that was what I did the other one. that's when I did the other one when I did the other one I simply took the belt the top belt off and put on another belt without removing the flywheel okay that was my mistake the first in the first deck so just again just a kind of an overview I had to remove this panel to gain access to that wheel because you couldn't do it otherwise all right so here, here I'm showing a picture of, um, uh, this is the, there's two, there's four pots. The two are, the other two are for the high speed dubbing. This pot and that pot is for the off motor speed adjust for the motors. Okay. That's for the lower deck that was doing that tape there. And then here is the upper deck and the upper uh, screw. Okay. So that's just a better picture. And then here I cleaned cleaned it with you know denatured alcohol right that's how I do it okay. and then here are the speakers that's a flash picture it did not then here's the actual speaker inside two and a half ohms at five watts that's the model number whatever here it is all finished right and that should take me back back to that all right so now let me wide out from this camera here I don't know how much time I've got nine minutes okay so now let me bring this thing down here and all this time we're talking here is the, once again, the famous left, right, left, right, left, right, this channel, that channel, this channel. Okay, so now, without further ado, let me play. Okay, so now I've got my, uh, okay. <clears throat> see, let me push this back if I can. Okay. So here is the, uh, I'm just going to hold the microphone. Okay, I've got a tape here. This one here, 
I'm going to kick this out. Hopefully it's got batteries in it. Let's see, drop this in. All right. Hit that, hit play. show it because I have it all right so let me just pick this up and yeah, I'm showing that okay great so now let me just get this out of the way all right, so now here's the thing that I've replaced repaired put new belts in all right and uh, let me hit this here so how's that show somewhat well that's close enough all right so here I hit play <laughs> Similar tape. All right, hit play on it. Let's see here. here has music search so let me show you how that works put it in play whoops play and hit that well that was what okay that's fast forward that's what work what's not working before in the other machine and this one here will also rewind okay but that's going to the next song so let me stop this we want to fast forward again to the next song, it will do that. Let's sit here and wait. This does not have a tape counter. Okay. Check this out, put it over here. this tape back in here which is different and hit play Thank you. 
couldn't do it before. And that's the end of the tape. Uh, nope. Yep. That's, oh, that was fine. Okay, so. And I can take uh, it back to the beginning. So that's rewind, so. Wait, let's do it like this here. Let's kick this out. And of course, well here, I, I played the tape on it, right? So. You can fast forward it, right? Away from whatever music that was. Um, this also has metal tape capability. I think that's, I'm pretty sure what these two buttons are. I'm not sure what these two are. This is your AM and FM button. And this is your... This also has line in. So here, let me show you. It's got line in. Oh, I got the cord on there. So here is a CD player. All right. So hit. Or is it hit start? There it goes. It spins up. We got the. <laughs> Carrying our CCW. <laughs> show you let me pull these out right, so let me put these let's see here I guess I could play let me play just a few seconds because I don't want to sell this music but here's a, a Fleetwood Mac tape right let's see it. that this that I always put it on the wrong side I want to hear the numbers Play this for yourself, you gotta buy it. Okay, now I'm just getting two cassette cases real quickly. Okay, just two cases so I can set things on top of here. Alright, so there's that. Here is a red Iowa that I've repaired. It works. I don't have time to put batteries in it and play it for you, but it's red, it looks like that. Okay, so oh, we can't see it. Wait. Wide out, move the camera. Okay, there's that. Looks like that, right? This is making noise. Hit stop on that. Okay. All right. So there's an Iowa CSR1, right? And then here's a, uh, a Toshiba 
sugar. Uh, what is it? Uh, Stereo fashionable number five. Okay, that's what that is, and I don't have betters than that. And it's got some markings here, but it works fine. Okay, or well, it works as well as it can. All right, and then the pictures I had that I showed you on the computer briefly earlier is here. Is this model here, which is again the Okay, this is uh, like that, and I think this one has batteries in it. Let's see here. Uh, okay, that's tape mode, so you hit a cassette, and you throw this in here like that. This will... Uh, this will do music search, like that. both sides. Fine. And then this will, it'll, anyway, do that. It'll do this. It'll do this. You can't confuse it. Alright, be here all day just doing that. Alright. Okay. So, so much for that. All right. Then turn this off because that's your power indicator right there. Okay. What else did I show? I showed that, I showed this, and then I have